these are the main connections uh, here this is the power plug from the kit uh, these connectors are not needed they just stay out um, this is the cam power cable I have connected it to the footwell here So I have connected here CARN cables, I soldered them and isolated. You need to connect orange green and orange brown, same cables comes with the kit. Also there is another set of cables with the same colors, so you can try this. If it doesn't work then you, can. you will have to connect to another pair of CAN cables. And this CAN goes to here, here, and connects to the main, uh, main power harness. Here, to the, uh, originally also, uh, they are orange-green, orange green and orange brown cables here also you can find two sets two sets of these cables they are going there minus black cable negative cable i have connected here to the ground point now you need more two more wires is uh, a positive wire 12 volt wire I have connected it to the mid unit uh, pos positive wire which is this red and yellow cable is pin number um, 12 I believe 13 in this whole quad lock and the blue cable the blue cable I have connected to the orange and blue cable. This blue cable here. Yeah. This blue cable from the wiring goes to this orange and blue. And again, 12 volt power supply goes to this cable red and yellow cable and you can find them here in the center area of this quad lock additionally for aux you need to connect this cable this is provided cable you need to remove from the quad lock this is original part then you insert this provided cable and then you bridge it here as well the other end of the aux which comes from this cable is going to be connected to the main harness for audio otherwise you will not have audio and uh, yes and this main power cable is connected to the main power harness and after you do these connections you can Start testing. Ah, one more thing. Uh, LVDS cables. LVDS out. LVDS out. You have to disconnect this original video cable, which is gray from here. LVDS in. LVDS in. You connect it to the head unit of LVDS. And then gray original connector you connect with this one with the provided one like this so the provided connector goes to lvds out to 
the original one and the slot female slot of the head unit with the provided wire goes to LDDS in and currently also very important dip switch try adjusting dip switch before doing something well adjust them connect see what's happening see the dip switch chart which i will include as well and uh, after changing dip switch you need to press this this reset button over here to take something small sharp and just press it module will restart and then the effect will change changes will take an effect and another thing regarding reverse camera the eight number eight for original camera control it has to be on and for aftermarket camera control it has to be off we are installing reverse camera here as well so we will connect uh, reverse camera 12 reverse camera video here and uh, we will give it power with this wire this is rear 12 volt this is rear 12 volt wire yes so, this is it.